Hello, I'm Miss O'Deal, and today we're going to be talking about how to become actors. Now, whether we want to act in a movie or on a stage in a play, we need to learn a few things about our instrument. If I'm a guitar player, what's my instrument? A guitar. If I am a drummer, what's my instrument? The drums. Now, if I am an actor, what will I use as my instrument? Well, there are three things that we're gonna cover. One is my body. The other one is my feelings. And the last, my imagination. Today, we're gonna focus on our body. We're gonna start with pantomime. Pantomime is when we use nonverbal communication. That means we're gonna act without words. Before we start, you're gonna need two objects. That means two things from anywhere in your home and a little bit of space to move your body. Okay, now find your space in the room and we're gonna get ready to do a little bit of practice. The first thing I need to know about using my body is how to relax. I need to be able to know when to tense up, when to let go. So I practice relaxation and neutral body. So right now I want you to take a stand. Stand with your feet underneath your knees and your hips and your shoulders and stand up tall. This is our posture and my head is straight and I'm not standing like this or like this or like that. I have a neutral body that I can come back to. Let's practice walking. I want you to walk around your space. Don't think about it. Walk. And notice how you walk. Are your shoulders back? Or do you walk with your shoulders forward a little bit? Check. Check your body. Forward or back. We need to know how we walk before we can be an actor and know how to use our body. And now I want you to practice sitting down in a neutral way. That means I'm not sitting how I normally would. In acting, we have to make a choice for our character. And if my character doesn't sit like this, then I'm not going to either, okay? So practice sitting, standing up, walk, and sit down, neutral, right? And my spine is still tall, my head is still up, my shoulders are back. I'm practicing neutral body and I'm releasing the ways I normally hold my body. That's called a habit. We don't want habits in our acting. We want to be able to choose very specific body movements for our character. Okay, next, I want you to grab your objects. We're gonna practice how to use gestures. What's a gesture? Huh? It's a body movement with the arms, the hands, and the face to communicate something. Grab one object. And I want you to hold it in your arm. And feel how heavy is it? Is it a heavy object? Play with it. How does it move? How do I normally move this object? And I want you to put the object down and I want you to pretend that you still have it in your hand. So do the same things that you just did. You're pantomiming the object. Yeah? And those are gestures. Okay, last thing we're gonna do, I want you to stay standing. Listen to my words. We're going to act out a pantomime. I'm gonna read some words to you and then you're gonna act it out with your body using what we just learned. Why don't you stand with your hands at your side in neutral and listen to my words. It is early in the morning and you're walking barefoot through a garden. How would you walk through a garden early in the morning? There is wet grass between your toes. How does your body respond to the wet grass? Then you see a beautiful flower on the ground. You decide to pick it up. 
pick up the flower. How much does the flower weigh? What's the shape of the flower? What's the color? What are you going to do with the flower? Are you going to put it on your body? Are you going to put it back down on the ground? Do something with the flower. You keep walking through the garden and you get to a fruit tree. You see a yummy fruit on it. What kind of fruit is it? Now take it off. What is the weight of the fruit in your hand? What's the shape of it? I want you to take a bite, but it tastes horrible. Oh, and then I'll throw it away. And finish the scene, put your hands on your side. Now what I want you to do is practice this sequence in front of a mirror, that's right. I want you to see how it is that you're using your body. How are you walking? How are you using your gestures? Then I want you to share it with an adult at home. Have fun.